Have you ever wanted to do helium balloon arches on a pool but didn't know how to? Today we're going to show how we do that at Wee Balloons. Welcome back guys. Today we're going to show you how we made these helium arch balloons that we put over a pool that was about 20 feet wide. Um, it was a very windy day so that made it challenging but nonetheless as always we always come through we always do what we got to do and it came out looking perfect. Um, some of you may have seen a reel that Alex posted on Instagram a couple of weeks ago but today we're going to show you how we actually did it. On an insta like this where you want all the balloons to be the same size you don't want to carry around more things than you really need so what we're using is the table in the helium tank um, with the tape measure measured out at 28 inches or 71 centimeters uh, to give us the exact same size for each balloon once we have the balloon inflated we're going to go ahead and add a piece of ribbon with tassels um, to the fishing line that we're going to use to make the arch with and we're going to tie a knot and before we actually pull on the knot we're going to go ahead and slide the fishing line as you can see right now um, again we're going to be starting at the very end uh, where one of the ends of the fishing line is attached to a weight which i'm going to show you how to make here in a, in a minute but you start all the way at the end and that's why you see me pulling all this fishing line And in case that was too fast for you and you missed how I did it, I'm going to show you with an, with an 11 inch balloon and a 260, um, how I was doing it basically. So I'm pinching the material, whether it's the 260 or fishing line and the tassels and the ribbon with the tassels. And I'm just creating a loop around it with the knot. When then once I pull the knot, it's already hooked in there. So they're just, they can slide, uh, but they're not going to come off. And this is the process that we repeated. 10 times per arch and we have four arches i would recommend that you have at least two people doing this one person doing like holding it and inflating at the same time and time um, i don't think it's feasible especially on a windy day like that day before we continue with the installation i want to show you guys really quick what i use to make the weights i have a food scale and i have a conwin stretch tool with a c-clamp I insert the neck of the balloon into the three prongs of the stretch tool and I stretch with one hand while I fill it in with the uh, river rocks. These are rocks that I bought at my local box store, um, in my case Home Depot, you might have something else. But uh, these are used for landscaping uh, and these are a very good size to do this quickly and also to give it the amount of weight that we need. The amount of weight that we're looking for at this moment is 7 pounds or just a little over 3 kilos. Now, if we go over the seven pounds, that's okay, because what we're trying to do is anchor these helium balloons, which everybody knows that in the wind, they can turn into boat sails quickly. And we're gonna repeat this process and we're gonna come up with a total of eight weights because we have four arches that we're working on and we're gonna anchor them with one weight on each end. Now it's sometimes hard to gauge the, the amount of rocks that you're gonna put inside the balloon uh, to get to the seven pounds. So in this case, I, I weighted the balloon and it was under the seven pounds. So I just put it back into the stretch tool and um, added a couple of more stones to help make the weight. And as you can see, we're a little bit over seven pounds. And this is what they look like on site. Now it's also a good idea, I didn't show you this on the video, but it's also a good idea to pre-inflate the balloons to stretch them out a little bit more because that way you'll be able to flat these out as much as you can because if you leave them rounded, the, the wind could actually move them around. So try to flatten them out as much as you can. Now again, just like I showed you with the balloon earlier, we're going to go ahead and, and tie a knot. But before we actually tighten the knot, we're going to run our fishing wire through it. And you would proceed with adding the balloons uh, in increments of 10 like we did or whatever it is that fits your situation.
the client also wanted us to install a garland on this backdrop now the thing with this backdrop was that there wasn't anywhere that we can tie off the garland to so what we do is we use water balloons and this is how we do it we tie them to the top part of the garland and then we throw the the water balloon over the backdrop and it's holding it in place between the weight that it uses to pull it down and the ceiling and because the balloons are touching the ceiling of the cabana they won't fall another way that you can do it is you tie off the water balloon to the neck of one of the balloons in the quads and then throw it over in this case i didn't really need to do that because again we have the ceiling to hold the balloons from falling backwards uh, but if you didn't have the ceiling or if the ceiling was higher uh, you want that balloon to hang over the pipe or over the backdrop That's all for today's video guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also click on that notification bell so you're notified each time that we upload a new video. And also take a look at the description down below for any additional information that you may want or that you may like. Also we have links in the description of the tools and some of the materials that we use that you may want to take advantage of. So until next time guys, peace.